Hello and welcome to Nootropics. In this video, I'm going to explain bronchiectasis. If you are watching the channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe to this channel and to like this video to see more videos concerning medicine. So let's start. Bronchiectasis is defined as an obstructive disease of the bronchi characterized by a reversible destruction and thickening of the wall of the bronchi and the bronchioles. Bronchiectasis was a common disabling and fatal condition in the pre-antibiotic era and remains more common in medically underserved regions of the world. Overall, it is an important cause of suppurative lung disease with a significant impact on the quality of life of affected individuals and on the health system as patients utilize many medical care resources including frequent clinic visits, hospitalizations, Diagnostic imaging such as high resolution computed scan HRCT of the chest and parenteral antibiotics. Bronchiectasis results from a variety of pathological processes that cause destruction of the bronchial wall and its surrounding supporting tissues. Bronchiectasis is considered to be idiopathic in up to half of the affected individuals. It can be formed in the following situations prior lung infection. Systemic inflammatory disorders, genetic disorders of the host defense mechanisms, and bacterial pneumonia, which is the most common cause of bronchiectasis. The pathophysiology of bronchiectasis is not known in many cases. It can be various depending on the etiology of the disease. But in general, the leading mechanism is thought to be the elevation of pressure in the bronchi, or a chronic bronchial obstruction, or even severe cough or even hypersecretion of the bronchial glands. Bronchiectasis also can be formed in lesion of muscle and connective tissue membranes of the bronchi. Bronchiectasis is a chronic disease with long periods of exacerbation. In the early stage of the disease, cough and sputum are related to cold exposure with occasionally hemoptasis. But in exacerbation periods, the following symptoms are noticed, such as daily cough, high production of mucopurulent sputum, marked dyspnea, general weakness, elevated body temperature, loss of appetite, loss of weight, sleep disturbance, and headaches. Objectively, the following signs are noticed. Cyanosis of the lips, emphysematous chest, which is the expanded chest, and drumstick-like fingers. On auscultation, Attenuation of the vesicular respiration is here with the dry or moist rails. And on percussion, band box sound is here with tympanic sound over the area of bronchiectasis. The clinical picture of bronchiectasis can be similar to chronic bronchitis. So, in addition to clinical picture, here are the supplementary methods which can be used to diagnose bronchiectasis. At first, which is the most important, bronchography which is the main diagnostic method for detection of bronchiectasis. In the bronchography, the following types of bronchial dilatation can be detected, which are cylindrical dilatation, cystic, and varicose dilatation. The next method is X-ray diagnosis. In X-ray diagnosis, we can see increased transparency in the part of bronchiectasis and deformation of the pulmonary pattern. Next method is the sputum study. In a sputum study, we can detect high number of neutrophils, elastic fibers, and erythrocytes. Also, complete blood count can be made. The complete blood count in the bronchiectasis reveals anemia, elevated ESR, and leukocytosis. In the course of treatment of bronchiectasis, patients are advised to avoid the exposure to smoke or dust, and to live in warm and dry climatic conditions. Medications used in the treatment of bronchiectasis are the following. Antibiotics, which are administered to control the inflammatory process, mycolytics and expectorants, postural drainage and bronchodilators, which are administered to improve the drainage of secretion from the bronchi. Oxygen therapy is done to patients with hypoxemia. Surgical resection of the affected area is done as the last stage if there is no response to medications. So this is guys all what I got for today's tutorial. 
I hope you enjoyed this information. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video to see more videos concerning medical knowledge.